through the night and didn't get an opportunity, that one is thankfulness. You know what I'm saying? If you're already thankful that you woke up, you opened your eyes, you know what I'm saying? Then that's the thing. The whole rest of your day is easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you I think that goes, up that goes back family, that, that's some motivation. Right. Goes back to some motivation. What motivates you? If you don't have something that motivates you, then what? You won't have you, know, you won't be eager to be great. Mm -hmm. So the well, first thing I like is I like to find things that, that motivate you. Right. If you're gonna have values, find things that motivate you to get you closer to your values. Mm -hmm. You value life. I value my children. I I value respect. I value happiness. Right. You have these type of things in your life where you go. Right. You go to the top. And, and, and I think a lot of people today are losing value. They wake right. up with no value. Right. They don't have no value in their life. They don't have no value in their relationship. Some people wake up and be in a whole relationship and don't even right. have a relationship with the person they in a right. relationship with. I think because you have to start with a fundamental core. If you got a core set of values, like I said, one for yourself, then your family, you know what I'm saying, financially, however you want to prioritize them. If you have a core of just fundamentals, you know what I'm saying, adding throughout your life or throughout your day, however you see fit, is, you know what I'm saying, it'll be easier. But you need to have those cores. First, you start with yourself. So if you wake up, you're happy that you even woke up, you know what I'm saying, you praise whoever, and then you start with what's next, okay? But I need to do, start do, my show. Do people even still praise? Do people even wake up and get thanks that they woke up? Well, you know, I have open conversations about it because not everybody feels like it's necessary to praise someone. So if you're just talking about a person that's not necessarily into anything, your value should first be yourself. Because, because just be thankful. You don't have to necessarily give praise to anything. Because isn't, isn't that the first thing that they teach you is to value life? Right. So if you value life, the first thing when you wake up in the morning, you would give thanks to the fact that I'm able to wake up in the morning. Right. Because not everybody, like they right, like right. promise. Not promise. Like I so, said, some people didn't make it the night before. Not everybody gonna wake up. Right. So then next, you know, whatever motivates you, the next thing should be your kids. Okay. Usually if we get up in the morning, you gotta get your kids prepared. There should be value in that. You shouldn't just be running down to scream and yell, get your kids dressed, yeah. because that affects their do, day. Do you too. know how many people wake up in the morning, don't value life? And then they're yelling at their kids in the morning. Right, right. They don't. They're mad that they gotta wake up and deal with their kids in the morning. Right. And like we they said, met, they're already up. That's why I say some people already wake no, up. No, and then it with makes the your children. They go out to school, and then you got kids out there fighting. You know what I'm saying? Kids are ready to be ticked off at any given moment because they're already angry. They're at home getting yelled at. They're already stressed because whatever the parent now is the going teacher, through. Now right. the teacher, now the teacher, that reflects the teacher, on the teacher has to deal with that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then it is. It's a vicious circle. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you know if we prioritize our life, you know, the way we need to. We all, like I said, we all get clouded with things that we go through after that, you know. So if you keep your fundamentals, you can kind of block out some other issues that come across, you know what I'm saying, that come across during your day. You know what I'm saying? If you already have a goal set, you know what I'm saying, when I get up, I'm going to wake my kids up, I'm going to make them breakfast. That's already the first goal that you put there. That, that's you know called what I'm saying? game plan. Right, that's a game plan. Game but plan. that's so effective because now you're putting food on your kid's stomach. They're not running into school trying to hurry up and get breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You may sit in traffic. You know what I'm saying? You have to count it in roadblocks that are going to get in the way of your, your values. I, I think that. You know what I'm comes, saying? It's really coming to preparedness. Just like you have to be prepared and organized for work, you know, sports, whatever. You have to be prepared in your life. That's why I said if you have fundamental core values that are already there every given day, you know what I'm saying, everything else is, is easy to play on. Maybe there's some things you may not want to deal with throughout, you know what I'm saying? But you have already set your course, so your priorities are straight. Your family, your work, yourself, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes like when you're not all the way together, your relationship that you have not just with a family member or a spouse, you know, saying a parent, it affects, if you don't have that together, it affects your relationships with everybody around you. What? what? <laughs> People who don't have values that you do, because now I got to deal with you, I got to come to work, you don't value my work space. I got, I got, I got to talk to you. You don't value uh, respect. 
Mm-hmm. So when you talk to me, you come out of character. And right. you think because you have authority that, that because you don't have values, it's okay. And, and right. then I have to check you. There's so many people that lack core values. Right. And then it reflects certain things in life that you like, wow. Well, remember I said the other day that people are not willing to open up, you know what I'm saying, and search from the inside and work on themselves. You know what I'm saying? You mentioned that in childhood. I said I grew up with my grandparents, my parents doing certain things. So I was able to learn from them. But there are people that don't have that groundwork there of people in front of them. Yeah, so, that, right, so there's nothing to learn from. Because sometimes the teacher, you're not spending enough time with them to learn anything anyway. Oh, you yeah, know what right. I mean? But so you have to. I'm a perfect you, example. Right. I'm, but, a, I'm a good is, father. But right. nobody taught me how to be a good father. Right. But see, even as a child, it's a lot harder to try to grasp those values because you know, you don't have any stability. But I think as you become older and you start to learn and have different experiences, those values are something that is only something that you can only see. Learn. Well, what made me, you know what what made you me, can't rely on anybody what, else what to made teach me, you at that point. What made me grasp me grasp them values was the fact that I didn't have that. Right. So being that I didn't have it, it made me want it more. I didn't have stability, mm-hmm. so I wanted stability. Mm-hmm. And I would do anything to get it. I didn't have a father, so I wanted to make sure my kids had a father. Mm-hmm. So I'm the type of person when you when you don't give me stability, I right. run. If I feel like I don't have stability, I run. If I right. feel like um, if I feel like it's commotion, I turn my back around. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't like the aspect of, of feeling like you have to deal with everybody else's problem and then they don't deal with yours. And I I, I call that lack of core values, like you said, the foundation. Mm-hmm. Right. That's the and. Like we say, that goes back from when you have certain people who don't value their means of life, but you would value your means of life, and they'll mess up everything around them and then come for 